Welcome back guys. In this video we are going to learn one of the Java interview question. The question would be find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of string. For example, suppose if you are given this array of string, floor, flow, flight, right? Amongst the strings in this array, we have to find out the longest common prefix. Prefix is the beginning of a word. In this three strings, common prefix is fl right so the longest common prefix in these three strings is fl if you are given this array of string as an input then the code should return the longest common prefix here is fl suppose if you take this string right here we have a longest common prefix is only the w right so w is the longest common prefix among us to this string if you take this one right same way if you see here in these strings there is no common prefix, right? Suppose if you are given this array, we have to return there is no common prefix over here. Let us write a code for this. Let's see how we can solve this problem with a simple way. Let's say we have, we'll take this uh, string of array. I just open a Eclipse. First, what we are going to do is, first thing is, uh, I'll initialize that array. I can say string. This is an array. So I can go with the array. Uh, I can give any variable name. So we have a string. F-L-O-W-E-R. You see. Then we have another string. Another string will be. You can say uh, any other string. Then the next string will be this one. So now this is the strings we have declared string of array. Now first thing what we have to do is first thing is create one variable right. So create a one variable something like this. You can give any variable name. I can give prefix equal to and this in this variable we have to set the first string of array. First string of array right we have to store it in this prefix variable. Right, how we have to store this str that is a this variable name first index. First index we have to store in this way. Here we are assigning the zeroth index string to this new variable. Right. So with this, what we are going to do, we are going to create a one loop. So loop through the rest of the string right in this array and check that if the prefix is this prefix value right the prefix value is substring of each string right then we are going to run a loop from the index 1 to end right why 1 to end because 0th index already we are assigning to the new variable so how we are going to so I just create a loop over here for loop I can say int i equal to I am going to start from 1 because 0th index already we are assigning to the new variable. So that's where I am just creating a starting from 1. Then I, uh, I less than str dot length. Right till that, I, till that length it should iterate. And I plus plus. Now I am creating a for loop over here. So to check the if the prefix is substring of each string in the array, here we have to use the index of operator. Index of, right? So using this index of method to check if the prefix, this prefix value, right, is at the beginning of each string, right? So index, index of method is a built-in method in Java. It is used to find the index of the first occurrence of the specified string or character. Okay, if the prefix is not at the beginning of the next string, what we are going to do, I mean it means that prefix is needs to be shortened, meaning that first time it will go and check with this value to this value, here the value is not there, then what happened it will go to, now it will be the plot. So next iteration it will going to remove the last character, so it will be in this way only. Hello. Okay, so next iteration again it will go and check this value is there in the in this particular string. Now again it will not that then again the next iteration again we are going to remove one character from that. So it will be 
the prefix value will be coming something like this. Then again it will go on check. So the value is there. Then it will go on keep in this way. Okay. Next time, next loop, next index, value it will go on take. So here the value is prefix value is FLOW only. Right. So it will go on check over here. The value is there in the flight. It is not there, right? So what happened? We will go and remove the again one character from here. So now the prefix value is FLO. So now it will go and check the FLO is there in the particular string or not. It is not there. So again it will go and remove one character again. So now this is a FL only. It will go and check the FL is available in the particular string. Yes, it is there. Right. So then it will go into fix the prefix value is a FL. Now then finally it is going to print the you know the longest prefix of the particular string of array is the FL only. This is the way we have to validate. Okay, so now I am going to use a while loop. So here I am going to check right. So we need to use the index of method and we need to shorten the character right one by one. For that I am going to use a substring method right. So here I will be checking while str str of i first we are going to take a prefix value that is the str of i prefix is the str of 0 but 1 means the i equal to equal to 1 so str1 this value it is going to take now dot index of here you can see index of, of method is there so here we need to pass this prefix over here Let's going to check this particular string is available in the next string. So we are using the prefix method. Right. So now if suppose if it is uh, not there then it is going to return you minus 1. Right. So now I need to say if it is not equal to 0. Right. If it is not equal to 0 I just wanted to you know shorten one character from here. So if you want to shorten one character, if I want to remove one character from this string, I need to use a method called substring. So this prefix equal to prefix dot substring of here we need to pass 0 that is beginning of the character begin and ending we need to pass. So beginning and ending will be prefix dot length minus 1 right. So we need to minus 1 so that it will going to be the next time the prefix now it will be the floor okay next time if it is the condition is true then it is going to be shortened so that next time it will be flowe only right this is the way it is going to be iterate right the while loop is used to check if the prefix is substring of each string in the array by using index of method right it is checking if the prefix is at the beginning of each string or not if the specified substring is not found, then it is going to return you minus 1. Right? Then substring method is a, this is also built-in method in Java that is used to extract from the string. Right? The substring method takes two arguments. The starting index of the substring and ending index of the substring. So now we specified both starting and ending. Specified the both starting index Actually, we are going to start from 0th index and the ending index is length minus 1. Because I don't want complete data. I want only minus 1 because we are doing a short turn over here. Right. So, now this is the way we have to write a code. So, now I will check it out. So, now after everything is done, we will go over here and just print the prefix value. So, now we will be checking prefix okay so now let me run this see now it is returning fl over here because this is the longest common prefix in the particular string suppose if i take this here also if i make it as a uh, o right so fl o here also here also fl o now what it should return it should return fl o only because we have a fl o is a Longest prefix. See now this is printing longest prefix. Is, this is the way, right? Suppose if I am making a different value like uh, if I 
GP and uh, some other values, right? So now here, if I go with, uh, if I run this, this is going to return you only F because common letter for first prefix is only F is the longest common prefix for this string. See, this is the way we have to go and validate. Suppose here I am not giving any value. Or suppose there is no data in the, uh, you know, there is no common prefix over here. In this case, what we can do? Right? Suppose I can say if, here we need to see if suppose prefix. This prefix, right? Here we are shortened one by one in the prefix value. So, prefix dot is empty. Then we are saying we need to print. Uh, there is no common prefix. So, no common prefix. Very simply, we have to write in this way. Suppose I just make it as a um, some other value like um, W or something. I can make slope. Right? So, now there is no common prefix over here. So, in this case, what it should return? It should return a Common prefix, no common prefix only. So let me run this now. See, it's printing no common prefix. Okay, suppose in the string is empty, what you have to do? String there is no value over here. Then what we can do? Then we have to check over here. Right, so we need to check whether the string is uh, length is 0 or you know the length is that right equal to equal to 0 then then we have to go with the some other conditions as well so what we can do simply we can add a one more if conditions over here right so here i am taking if str dot length equal to equal to 0 right if it is equal to equal to 0 then what we are going to we are going to print Maybe it is a uh, empty string of array. Okay, so in this way we can go with this one. Now here we have to say if str dot length greater than zero, right? So greater than zero, then we have to go in this way. Right. So now, if suppose there is no data over here, right? So now it should return empty string of array, right? If this is the way we have to add uh, some conditions in between, right? If empty string, then it should print this one. Otherwise, if suppose if it is any common prefix, then you have to add. It will go over here and it is go and check this values and it is going to return you exactly longest common prefix from the string of R. This is the way you have to validate. I hope this is going to be helpful.